Are you ready to overclock your graphics card and also get some other really cool features at the same time? Then let's talk about MSI Afterburner. It's a pretty cool application and you can do all that cool stuff in it. So I make benchmarks for my channel, which is basically just tracking the FPS of games while you're playing them, especially like at 4K and stuff like that to really stress graphics cards. Uh, and I get a lot of graphics cards from Cutting Edge Gamer with link in the description if you ever want to check them out, by the way, it actually helps out my channel. But anyway, so yeah, graphics cards are pretty cool and you can also overclock them uh, pretty easily using a program called uh, MSI Afterburn. There's other programs to do it, yeah, EVGA Precision, um, and then you can also overclock through AMD uh, Crimson Drivers, I believe, and uh, other stuff like that. But in my experience, I kind of like MSI Afterburner the best. Just seems like the best graphics or the best program that I've pretty much had luck using with every graphics card I've ever really had in my system. So as with a lot of my other uh, how-to videos, so we we start this off by going to Google. What a shocker! MSI Afterburner. Great application. It's also free, which is very cool, by the way. And uh, it works with pretty much any graphics card. AMD, NVIDIA, works with MSI graphics cards. It works with non-MSI graphics cards. So it's a really uh, all around great program. We'll go to downloads and then uh, go ahead and download MSI Afterburner. Uh, and I guess we could get the beta. Cool. They even have it for Android and iOS, by the way, which I guess that'd be cool. Um, I don't know. I don't think I need to overclock my GPU on a smartphone, but uh, <laughs> I guess you can apparently. So we'll open up the zip and install this application. Does anybody actually read this stuff? I don't. If MSI sues me, then whatever. <laughs> and the nice thing about this application is they don't really give you uh, that much of bloatware, which is pretty cool. They don't give you like anything that's gonna really put crap on your computer. So very nice MSI, giving us a free program that actually works really well. Uh, I guess the only times I've ever really had issues with this program is uh, overclocking my graphics card too much and then the drivers crash. But uh, if you're overclocking your graphics card, there's always a chance that you're going to overclock it too much because, because I mean, you can't just keep pushing your graphics card and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. I mean, eventually it's going to crash because you can't push it that much. But uh, it's definitely nice to get a little bit more performance out of your graphics card. So English, of course, which is what my language is. You guys have probably figured that out. Oh wait, that's the second. Oh yeah, I, I clicked it twice. Mm. <laughs> Only click it once, because you click it, click it twice, it'll want to install it twice, so don't do that. And uh, I don't really care about the README, so let's just get into the application. Yeah, opened on my second screen for some reason. Very nice. So there's the application right here. You can do quite a bit of stuff with it. It shows you your GPU right there. Ignore this, because I said I pressed the thing twice. So it shows I have a GTX 960 in my computer right now. Shows your drivers right there. Shows your core voltage. Uh, I guess it's limited on this graphics card. Like some graphics cards, you can't change certain things. Like the R9 Fury cards, I don't believe you can change the memory clock speed with MSI Afterburner because uh, AMD just locks that for whatever reason. But you can change, okay, calm down. I don't need to update this stuff right now. But you can change the core clock so we can ramp that up a little bit if we really want to. That Don't ramp it up that much, please. Uh, <laughs> if you're gonna ramp it up, maybe 125 or something. You don't need to ramp it up that much. Um, let's, you can also just type it in right here. So let's just do zero right now. You could do the memory clock. Once again, be a little bit... Whenever I do overclocking, it's always best to like kind of just gradually work your way up because I feel like if you work your way up way too fast, you just get drivers crashing all over the place, which is not good. We can change the fan speed by taking it off auto and then ramping this sucker up. 100%! Let's get it going. <laughs> yeah, very loud. My graphics card probably hates me right now. Okay, we'll put it back on auto because that makes way more sense. But if you really want to get like a certain temperature target, then sometimes um, just putting it on uh, like a certain fan speed, like 100% for example, it's going to be loud, but it's going to be cooler, of course. So cool stuff. And then we got this here on the right side. Shows our GPU temperature, shows our GPU usage, the fan speed, which of course ramped up there. And then it shows you... Uh, Fan tachometer, core clock, memory clock, lots of stuff. FPS, if you're actually in a game, uh, core CPU usage, all that fun stuff, RAM usage, 
And uh, yeah, the list just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. So it's, uh, it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff you can tinker with here. And then we can also go to uh, settings and we can change um, the stuff that comes up while you're in the game. So uh, for instance, let's see, where is that? It's on monitoring, yes. So uh, you can choose all these things to basically come up in the top left of the screen, like right here where like, I guess where my Raptor logo is right now. So where it says in OSD, OSD is on-screen display, I believe, which is just what it shows you on screen. So I have the GPU temperature picked right now, the core clock picked, and also the frame rate. So that's what it's going to come up in the top left corner of the, uh, of the screen while I'm playing games, which is very nice. Uh, and uh, beyond that, you can change, like if you want to add this to the on-screen display, display, just put uh, show an on-screen display. And uh, you can pick a bunch of stuff. On-screen display, lots of different settings here. If you really want to get crazy, there's just a lot of settings in MSI Afterburner. So just be prepared to uh, have fun with that. <laughs> you can make it start with Windows, start minimized. You can make it uh, check for uh, different updates for this program. A lot of different things you can do here. So it's pretty dang cool. And I'll go ahead and start up a Dirt Showdown just to, get, to give you guys an example of what it looks like and everything because it's a pretty cool program. Not doing any overclocking right now. Um, if, I mean, it basically just tips with overclocking. Start slow, just move up gradually, keep applying it, and then if you have issues, uh, just you know ramp your clock speed down a little bit. And uh, it's best to go um, not to the limits of what your graphics card can handle. It's best to go to like maybe you know. 75% of the limit or something like that. Okay, JK, I'm opening up a Dirt Rally because Dirt Showdown didn't want to open. Um, but anyways, we can still see the uh, all the uh, uh, information in the top left of the screen. And I believe you can move it to different parts of the screen. I believe so. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you can check the GPU temperature was 48 right now. Shows you the core clock, which is 1189 right there. And then shows you the FPS right there as well. So uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, we're definitely going to see the uh, GPU temperature ramp up quite a bit. Go ahead and turn my audio down so you guys aren't blasted out. And uh, yeah, the GPU temp, like if we go ahead and get into race right now, we'll go and just get in some custom event. YOLO, start it up. Okay, so now that the level is actually loaded, yeah, the GPU temperature is rising a little bit. It's actually not really rising too much, really, for my GPU. I got a Gigabyte GTX 960 in this computer, just, I don't really even do that much gaming on this computer, I just kind of have it in there. Mostly I just play Shellshock on it, to be honest. But, uh, turn down the audio still a little bit. But yeah, so uh, it did ramp up a little bit, I think the GP started at 50, no wait, 49, and now it's 60 degrees Celsius, so. Oh man, yeah, I'm terrible at driving, so sorry about that. If you guys watch my benchmark videos, you know how terrible I am at driving. But yeah, see the GPU temperature ramps up. The core clock um, also ramped up to uh, a little bit to give me some more frames, because uh, it has more load going to it. And uh, yeah, so beyond that, I think that's pretty much all I really wanted to cover in this video. If you guys do have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below. And wow, am I crappy at driving. So I should probably just end this video. Oh, Jesus. And uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Have any comments, leave those down below. And subscribe to the channel to see more how-to videos in the future. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.